Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton gave his State of the City address today, and the city is preparing for some big changes. Cronkite News reporter Gilbert Cordova tells us what's in store for the future of Phoenix. From update on the city's economy to its innovation in transportation, today's address was as expected, but speculation of a new attraction to the city had many people's attention. Fast, and in so many ways, we had no choice. We were fighting for our economic survival. Many of the Valley's political and business leaders gather to hear the plan Mayor Greg Stan has for the rest of the year. And more importantly, we're building an economy that includes everyone and a real opportunity for everyone. The mayor says he wants to bring a new arena to downtown that would be shared by several pro teams. I as mayor will do everything I can to pursue a course that makes a new facility home to the Suns, the Mercury, and the Coyotes. Building two new sports arenas in our region doesn't make fiscal or common sense. Todd Sanders, president and CEO of the Greater Phoenix Chambers, opened the address and says it is too early to tell what the future holds for the Valley's teams. Well, there's been a lot of talk about an arena, you know, the Suns arena. Obviously, there's been a lot of talk about the Diamondbacks. We, we understand there might be a proposal out there. We haven't had a chance to really look at the numbers or understand what the proposal looks like. There has been debate on a joint arena for some time. But today was the first push to move the idea towards any action. Currently, the Sun still hold a lease on Talking Stick Resort Arena here in Phoenix, and the Coyotes are still in a battle with the city of Glendale on their future at the Hiller River Arena. Our Cronkite sports team has been working on an in-depth multimedia project on the Valley Sporting Arenas. Look out for that in the weeks to come here on Arizona PBS. In downtown Phoenix, I'm Gilbert Cordova, Cronkite News.